it looks like there's going to be some consequences for going with your feelings. What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Domestic Girlfriend. This episode had our, the continuation of what happened between Rui and Natsuo that night, and you can't help but feel bad for the girl, truthfully. Uh, I personally felt pretty bad for her, uh, covering for him, and she trying to like process everything she hears the truth from Natsuo he tells her that he had been feeling this much before they moved in together and that at first it was one-sided which truthfully it was he was pushing onto his feelings onto her until she basically nudged and at first Rui doesn't really want to hear this but then she kind of gives him a couple of kisses not necessarily because out of like sympathy or anything but to kind of close this chapter in her life or at least we think um, she cries in silence in the bathroom which you know makes for it even more dramatic a little more sad but uh it was definitely pretty sad to see that her resolution to all of this is to come to dislike him and this is something that honestly happens in real life where you are in a relationship with someone before or you like someone and things just don't go out and they turn to be pretty nasty afterwards you know you, you turn to disliking each other or just ending off in bad terms you know so i've seen some relationships where things get pretty ugly uh, personally i haven't been in a relationship like that where things are just you know ugly i you know it, i've i haven't said i'm not gonna say i'm friends with my exes but you know, I just kind of let them be and they let me be and that's kind of how it should be, honestly. And of course, Natsuo, hearing this, doesn't really have a response to it. Uh, but things kind of get worse for him. Him and Hina, honestly, they have their uh, results come back in for the book club to see who may have won. And it turns out that Rui actually wins. Uh, this is a blow to Natsuo. Something that Asahita actually notices too. Uh, but while Hina actually gets worried about Rui, uh, she hadn't gotten a response from her. Her concerns lie within Rui. Uh, they haven't spoken yet, which they do later on. But Asahita does her part also to kind of try to cheer up Natsuo. She talks about her own experience and saying, you know, she had, you know, felt depressed, you know, but this feelings would come in handy when writing another story. So it was kind of nice to see a, a character that hasn't fully been developed kind of get some screen time and pretty much late in the series to kind of give us, you know, a supporting role. Uh, Asahita seems to, like, know her things. Uh, she speaks about her own, and I think Natsuo takes this into account a little bit. He tries to search for help from... Kiria sensei who at first just kind of wonders why he's there and he refuses to make him his apprentice uh, and Natsuo actually gets pretty serious about all of this he tells him like look you gotta try struggling and that's another thing and I'm gonna say this really quickly it's it's good to ask for advice truly but a lot of the times when you ask advice, and I, I've done this and I've talked about this personally, like, you need to actually make the effort, at least some kind of effort, to actually go somewhere. You can't just ask people, you know, what's the best thing? If you're stuck in something, I get it, but don't automatically just ask. Try something yourself, and if it doesn't work, then maybe search out for help. And that's what he does. He actually takes into account what Kitty says to him, and he starts writing, you know, one story a week. And he has Kitty a look at it, which, again, that's effort. You know, it's the struggle of trying to do something. And you got to do it on your own. But now we go into Okinawa, the, tr the school trip, you know, the famous school trip. And everyone's having a blast. The girls are in swimsuits. And we have not so well, not even really focused on the girls. Um, but we have Rui and Hina finally talking. Um, not even because of intention, it was just coincidental, where Rui actually goes up to, I guess, gets the volleyball while they were playing, and the girls talk, and we have Rui telling her, look, you don't have to break up with him, um, 
I've come to dislike him. Hina's not happy about that. She wants things to go back to the way they were. Uh, she says that, you know, she finally fe she feels good that Rui's talking to her. They sort of patch up things. And then we have Natsuo starting to want to be more serious about Hina himself. While Hina actually says, you know, well, meet me in my room later on. We need to talk. And so it was perfect timing for him. And when they actually go into the room and talk, we have her saying, you know, I want to break up. And he's like, I want you to be more serious about me. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought that was a funny little coincidence there. Like They both speak at the same time. He's like not wanting to hear it. He's not a fan of it. And he tells her, look, I wanted you to be serious. I, I want to be with you. He gives her this ring. Uh, of course, it's one of those phony baloney rings. It's not good enough, he says, that he, he's going to work to get her a good one and that he wants to marry her. But that's all sweet and all, you know? And he just continues talking to her and he calls her by her name, which kind of sets her off, basically, and like romantically. I guess that's kind of a trope, too. Uh, they get it all, finally, after 11 episodes. He finally sleeps with someone else that isn't <laughs> Rui. But, uh, it was funny. I liked their pillow talk. I thought it was pretty funny, uh, and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed hearing their talk about how they're whacking off to other people. And although it seems nice and pretty and it's cute in certain ways, the following day, I guess, when they get back home, we have Hina being called up. And, uh, it's not looking good. It's getting me a little concerned. We may have you know, seeing the last of Hina as a teacher there, because it looks like they have photographic evidence of her being caught with a student. So, uh, I mean, like I said in the beginning of this, it looks like your actions do have consequences, so we'll see what happens. But overall, enjoy the episode. Uh, it was pretty fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.